Hi everyone, it's Lina Makeup Unite and welcome back to my channel. So today we'll be doing another road list review for a liquid lipstick. And this is again from Ever Belena and it's called the EB Matte Liquid Lipsticks. So if you guys are interested to know what my thoughts and initial verdict about this product, then just keep watching. bagong liquid lipsticks na naman. Another liquid lipstick from Everbelena. This is yung EB Matte Liquid Lipstick nila. Isa lang yung shade na meron ako as of the moment. Pero, if you guys can visit their counter, she would know na talagang maraming variety ng shades. I will put a link down sa information box below para makita niyo lahat ng shades na available if in case you still don't have time to visit yung mga stores nila and katulad ko kayo gusto mo kapag punta mo dun sa store alam mo na yung shade na hinahanap mo um but anyways, I got this sa Watson section ng SM Marikina for 185 pesos lang, murang mura guys as in, I think Konti lang yung difference ng price nito dun sa liquid lipstick nila na maliit. Um, I forgot ano ba yung, yung limited liquid lipstick nila. But this one is a matte version. That one kasi may pagkasatin. Um, finish or basically it's just a liquid lipstick. This one has a matte finish so obviously it claims to be matte and obviously it's supposed to last a lot longer compared dun sa una mga liquid lipsticks na nilabas ni Everbelena. So, ang shade na nakuha ko dito today is Toast of New York. And it is indeed more of like um, a strong brownish color. Um, I don't think it's a, a good nude color kasi if it's nude, it's supposed to look natural. But I wanted to get this one specifically kasi I wanted to explore a little bit more outside my comfort zone. So, I decided to get this color instead. Now, I'll do a very quick swatch. By the way, ang packaging niya, it's a clear one. Obviously, kita-kita nyo na yung shade niya sa mismong glass container na kasi see-through. Tapos meron siyang black na screw-type liquid lipstick container. Or, basta yun, may screw-type na lid siya. And if you open up, meron siyang magandang klase ng stopper right there. So, let me do a quick swatch para makita nyo yung ano yung itsura at gano'ng ka-bold ang kanyang color. Ayan siya, guys. Medyo matured-matured yung kulay nito, kaya excited ako yung chart ko. First time ko, actually, I did have another shade ng ganito from a different brand. Nagustuhan ko rin siya. It's a local brand. It's from Jazzy, I believe. And I love that color. And I love that liquid lipstick. By the way, kasi hindi siya packy. Hindi siya mabigat sa lips. And I hope this one would do the same exact thing. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start applying the product. I did put some lip balm on my lips just to prep my lips kasi I don't want yung condition ng aking lips to I don't know, give an impact on how and what I want to um, judge when it comes to this product. So I'll just wipe off the excess lip balm. So, ang bango. May pagka parang vanilla yung scent niya, guys. It reminds me ng mga liquid, ah, not liquid lipstick, yung mga lipstick ni MAC. Ganun yung, ganun yung scent niya. Very, very creamy pala yung formula ng product. And it seems to set really nice and fast on the skin. There you go. So I'll go ahead and apply this. So I think that's good one layer of the product. I don't want to put too much on my lips kasi baka maging tacky mamuulang siya and by the way, totally to yun na yung ating swatch kanina and as you can see, hindi siya gumagalaw, hindi siya nag-bleed or anything like that. On my lips it looks like it's completely set agad-agad kasi very minimal lang talaga yung, yung product na kinuha ko dito sa mismo 
uh, sponge applicator niya para madilis siya talaga mag-send. Get, get the look. At hindi siya magkalat-kalat. Actually, liking yung finish niya sa lips ko. It looks really, I would, I would say natural, pero it's more of like a, a settled brown, good for everyday color. I like it because I think it's good for Philippine skin type like me ngayon. Di ba? Medyo tan ako ngayon. Kaya maganda pa rin siyang tingnan. Um, baka mas maging vibrant pa yung output nito kung medyo naputika. Ito yung shade na kukuhanin mo. But so far, I'm actually liking it. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. Medyo may pagkalagkit factor pa siya and I think it's not 100% set pa. So, I will give it a few more minutes para mag-completely set siya sa lips ko. Application-wise, madali lang siyang i-apply guys. Walang tagging, walang kahit anong ganap na pwede mo masabing mahirap i-apply yung product kasi sobrang dali guys. As in. And a little goes along way kasi very pigmented yung shade niya. But then again, you have to be careful and you have to consider the shade that you will take. Kasi baka yung, yung pigmentation ng color would different based on what shade you will get. Kasi if you get lighter shades and you want it to look more fake, baka mas kakailangan nyo pa ng konting product para makita yung output ng shade. Pero if, if you're gonna be picking up something like with this deep color and very very opaque, a little goes a long way na kaya mapukulayan niya na ng buo yung lips mo with just a few strokes. So, so far, I'm actually liking it. I will wear this throughout the day and see how it goes. Ang oras natin, by the way, ooh, it's 10, 10.40 in the morning. I will just go ahead and do the rest of my day. And I'll get back to you guys after a few hours to see how the lipstick is holding on. Hi everyone, I'm back and this is going to be my first check-in for this liquid lipstick. Ang oras natin, if you guys are wondering, it's 2.42 in the morning or afternoon rather. And I think it has been like 4 hours since we applied the liquid lipstick kanina umaga. And I hope you guys can still hear me because I'm kind of Malakas na yung ulan. Um, anyway, so I just had my lunch a few, like an hour ago. And this is how my lips looks like. Parang hindi naman siya gumalaw or whatsoever. And to be honest, the hugas pa ako ng pinggan. And this is how the, the swatch looks like. May konting pagtanggal dun sa mismong um, product. Pero the rest of it looks really, really opaque. And I would say, ganun din ang nangyayari sa lips ko. Majority of the product that was left on my lips are in the outer perimeters of my lips. Pero yung nasa bandang loob, we're in, madalas na nababasa, ayan, medyo nag-fade na siya. But I would have to say na andyan pa rin siya eh. Hindi dahil magandang color or matches the color of my lips somehow. But I would say na maganda yung pinaka-performance itong product mo to. Now, the thing that I wanted to do when it comes to testing a liquid lipstick is to reapply it on top of the existing or whatever is left on my lips. So that's what we're going to do today. I will just remove any excess wet particles or whatever on my lips. Ayan, and dun siya. Toyuna. So what we're going to do is reapply another layer of the liquid lipstick on top of whatever is left on my lips. Tignan natin kung ano yung magiging epekto nito sa ating lips. Okay, so let's give it a few minutes. Armand set on the lips. And by the way, I have dry lips today. That's why I moisturized it earlier before applying the liquid lipstick. And I think nagkakaroon ng effect yun. And surprisingly, parang hindi na gaano na emphasize yung dry skin ng lips ko when I first applied it. So, so far, I'm actually enjoying the lipstick. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Ito lang. Yes, as I was saying, it doesn't feel heavy on the lips. Hindi siya malagkit. Hindi siya nakakainit sa lips throughout the day. Hindi mo actually ramdam na may something sa lips mo. Uh, but so far, I'm actually liking the product. 
So, I can't think that kit factor pa, pero majority of the product is already uh, set on the lips, and I don't see any or pagmukupo sa lips or dito sa mismo product na to, which is a good thing. So, having said that, I will just go ahead and wear this throughout pa a few more hours maybe, and then I will check on you guys at the end of the night to see how the liquid lipstick is holding up. Hi everyone, I'm back and this is gonna be my last check-in for this lipstick review na ginagawa natin for Everbelena. I don't have a physical watch right now, but it's already 4.40 na hapon. And I think it's an additional 2 hours since my last check-in with you guys. And I just wanted to make this really quick, this review. Um, and I noticed naman na hindi na siya nagbabago. So I think I have a really nice and clear concept na of what I want to share with you guys and ano yung mga thoughts ko about this product. So as you guys can see, very opaque pa rin yung lipstick on my lips. Hindi pa ako naging merienda after lunch. Hindi pa ako mainom ng kahit ano. Wala pa akong kahit anong food intake after that. So, I would say na very, very opaque yung product and it doesn't feel heavy at all. Hindi rin ako nakaramdam ng kahit anong tackiness on the lips. Even pinatong lang natin yung second application or hindi natin na-remove yung leftover kanina bago tayo nag-reapply. So, this is really a nice factor for me kasi Mahirap, mahirap magkaroon kasi ng lipstick or liquid lipstick na i-reapply mo lang without removing yung mga tira-tira dun sa lipstick na kanina ang maga. So, this is really nice. And also, I, I, I wasn't able to show you guys earlier, but it is indeed his proof. It doesn't show any transfer upon application. Pero once na mag-start ng may konting um, liquid na dumapo sa lips mo, that's when you will see yung transfer. Magkakano siya ng content transfer. Let me see if I can show it to you guys at the back of my hand. Yan. So, as you guys can see, wala siyang transfer kasi wala naman akong food intake or water intake na ginawa after that last check-in we did. But, I have to really share with you guys itong swatch na ginawa natin kanina umaga hanggang ngayon, andyan pa rin siya. So, that's a really good sign for me. And yung opaqueness niya on the skin, hindi rin nagbago. May konting factors or may konting parts dun sa swatch na medyo nag-fade na. But, majority of the product is still on the skin. So, that's a really good sign. Now, let me share my final thoughts and verdict about this product. So, let's start with the price as usual. So, the price is 185 pesos. I think that's obviously affordable. And shade-wise naman, super dami ng shades na. I don't really recall how many shades, but it's very playful. It's all matte. And I think all the shades are wearable. Kahit na ang skin tone mo ay katulad ng morena. Wearable lahat ng skin, ah, uh, wearable lahat ng shades na meron si Everbelen ng liquid lipstick. So, I will put again the link down to information box in case you missed it or somewhere in the video. You can go ahead and click it up para makita nyo kung ano yung mga shades available. But this one in particular, I really like it kasi for me, it's sophisticated. It's not too loud, parang, na parang red. But it gives you that really bold color on your lips without going overboard. So, if you guys are like me, na gusto nang nakonting statement sa face, and you're not too comfortable wearing red lipsticks, you can go ahead and try this out. This is, again, the Toast of New York shade. I don't think I mentioned ko na kung gano'ng karami to, but I think it's a really standard size. It's 5ml, but... This is really good. I really like it. And I don't mind buying another shade because it's very affordable. I have plans of getting a few more shades of this product. As for its container, I really like the container because it's just in the store. You can see it again and again. If you get the shade you get, you don't have to have second thoughts about it. Then it's clear and I think it's quite sturdy for 185 pesos. 
Now, performance-wise, as you guys all know, I really like it. Because it doesn't give you that greasy, it doesn't give you that um, heavy feeling on the lips. It's not tacky at all. It's very light, kumbaga, super comfortable siya sa lips. And very opaque yung kanyang color. A little goes a long way, as mentioned earlier. So, do I recommend you guys trying this product out? I highly, highly recommend you guys getting one of these. Not necessarily the shade, but at least you use one product na to and choose your own preferred shade kasi super amazing yung product na to. And I think magandang maganda siyang pang tapat sa mga may kamahalang liquid lipsticks na meron ngayon sa market na nasa drugstore line. Pero, I didn't say it because of the price lang ha. But also the performance. I mean, hindi na nalalayo yung performance ito sa mga medyo middle class na drugstore uh, line. So, I think this is a really affordable and effective alternative for those products. So, I guess that's it for this review. If you have any questions about the product, let me know in the comment section below. And all the product information that I can gather related to this liquid lipstick will also list it or will also be listed down in the information box below. So, always make sure to check it out. But, as always, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye!